Hi again with Z Arts Tutorials. This tutorial is a gift for all who love coffee. Today I will make a black coffee logo design. It's a simple and funny logo design. So nice watching. Don't forget to take your notes. Let's start step by step. As the first step, I will add the smart guides. View. Then smart guides. I will use these colors the gray, the black, and the pink. You will find the hex codes of the colors in the description. The tools. I will use the selection tool view with the keyboard, the direct selection tool, the pen tool, the curvature tool, the type tool, rounded rectangle tool, and the other shapes. The free transform tool to resize the used shapes. The eyedropper to catch the colors. And the shape builder to combinate or the subtract the shapes. The pathfinder, intersect, minus, front. First I will choose the ellipse shape tool. I will make with it a gray circle to consist the cup form. Then I will choose the rectangle shape. I will duplicate it with the selection tool plus L to have two rectangles. I will select the two shapes the first rectangle and the circle with the selection tool. Now with the pathfinder, I will delete the useless part. The same step for the second rectangle. It's great. This the main cup form. Now I will use the rounded rectangle shape tool to make the black top. With the selection tool plus south, I will duplicate the rounded rectangle in the top. I will select the cut parts and I will choose the center align. Now, to make the cup bottom I will use the same rounded rectangle in the top. I will adjust the size. As you see with the smart guides you can't make position mistakes. You will find all your work organized with these pink path guides. The cup plate. It's simple and easy. With a rounded rectangle shape, I will make the first gray part. Now I will duplicate it to have the second black part. I will select all the cup parts. And I will make it center. Good. Now the eyes. First I will use the Eclipse Shape tool to make the black circle. With the smart guides, I will complete the second eye with a parallel position. The smiling mouth. I will use pink and black colors to make the tongue and the opened mouth.
With the Pathfinder, I can fix the wounded size of the tongue. Exactly. Now with the paint tool, I will make the coffee vapor. Then I will adjust the corners. It's looking good. Then I will boost the path size value. Now I will complete the vapor other parts. I will choose the suitable brush definition to make the rounded path ends. I will change the vapor opacity. For this cup part, I will need five essential steps. First I will make the black area. Second I will adjust the corners. Third I will make the main form with a path offset. Object. Path. Path offset. Then the pathfinder delete the useless part. And arrange it to back. Arrange. Send to back. Now it's the last step. The shadow. I will use the curvature tool to make the black area. Then I will decrease the black opacity. With the shape builder tool plus out, I will delete the useless area. Very good now my funny logo is ready. If you like this design, you can find it in a Coffee Time t-shirt design in my Teespring Marketplace. Thank you for watching.